want two games, please, mate? Yeah, which one? Last of Us. Yeah, Last of Us, that's four pounds. Oh, right, yeah, labelled, yeah. Battlefield one, that's five pounds. Okay, cheers. How much are your DS games, mate? Uh, four pound each. Four? Yeah. It's going to ask you if you do two. Three. Three. Yeah, go on then. Got that one. Do you have any change at all yet? Yeah, I haven't got enough uh, change for three quid, so if you've got any change for a tenner... Did you get rid of your I know, sorry mate, I've already used my coins. Seven. Cheers, thanks Thank a lot. Cheers, Cheers. How much is your... Oh, you Mario. Yeah, like <laughs> There is some more 3DS games, I think. Oh, yeah. There is. There's the old DS yeah. ones. That's a Wii U. Yeah. Mm. How much was that one? Those are just two quid each two. for the DS. Mm -hmm. No, your 3DS ones. Thank you. Yeah. Six, it's 3DS. That'll be a five as well. Five, okay. I must have missed that one when I was sticking the faces on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take them to see how. Oh, you see that? So. Five. Did you do 30 for these? Thank you. What do you reckon? Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. Thank you. There is, you say so. Yeah, you're all right. Yeah. You don't have any ten notes, do you? At all, please. So I've just got a load of. I think I've only got twenties. Thank you. Cheers. Uh, yeah, if you don't mind, please. I've forgot mine this morning. <laughs> Sometimes you just rush in, I always, uh, always forget. Thanks very much for that, cheers. Thanks. Yeah. How many games, please? Uh, quid a go. Okay. Game over. What? I think that's all Warhammer stuff in that pencil case. Right, how much is your DS, please? Uh, tenner, 20 quid. Yeah. Oh, that's wing damage, shame that one. Yeah, it's got a little one in it. Yeah. Could clean up. Jackham. Well, it'll it'll be a, it'll be a nice one. I do already have it, it's just that's the game of the year, but I might leave it, maybe. Oh, actually. <laughs> I might do, I might grab them, actually. Yeah, grab them. Yeah. There you go, thank you. Cheers. Cheers.
you got any DS games at all, or you got any um, games with it? No, someone Trapped just bought them all. Yeah. Oh, were they? Yeah. yeah. Do quick this adapter? Yeah. Cheers. There you go. Thank oh, you. Cheers. Thank cheers. You. cheers. You haven't picked up any DS games here? No. Oh, because they've got a DS over there. It's a little bit overpriced. Shed Shed to damn 10 or 20 quid or something. 10 or 30? Well, at first she had 20, and then she, no, she said 10 or 20 or something like that. Um, I said, you got any games with it? She said, oh, no, someone's just bought them all. We missed it, we missed yeah, we all missed it. Friend? Me, you and Dan have missed it. So I was wondering if you'd... Uh, no, not me. It must have been someone else then. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, let's have a look. Hockey. Oh. That's not too bad. You get them from me, yeah. yeah sure. That's all right, isn't it? <laughs> Would you sell this controller? Uh, I want to sell it all together if I oh, can. Oh, it's like a bundle. It won't have one, yeah. Oh, okay. No worries. All right. That's all right. Xbox games. What sort of stuff do you want? Um, I was looking at your Xbox games, just in there. Oh yeah, you got better eyes now. <laughs> yeah. it's early, I'll you tell can see you the green there. cases easily. Yeah, it's early. Let me get them out for you. We did have lots, <coughs> lots of gone. But... Oh, have you sold lots? Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah, thank you. I don't think there's anything for me there. Mm. Oh, you're after? No, I've got them all myself to that. Yeah, I've got them all. Sort of that way a bit, mate. Yeah. Please. Yeah. My feet feel a bit damp at the minute. Well, it will be. Yeah. Are you being here? I'm here very long. About. How much is that, please? The box is at three pounds. Great. It's never been opened either. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, I've got that one, thanks. Okay. Three. Lovely, yeah. thank you. Lucy's. Yeah. It's a yeah. She wants it. It's a, it's a real one as well, Mum. What? It's a real McCoy. Just thank, thank you. you very much. Cheers. Thank you. No good. Uh, I've got a Planet Earth Blu-ray box set. All oh, right. It's only three. It returns six. So it's, as long as it doubles the money, it's not too bad, is it? Pound for this, yeah. What's wrong then? Thank you. Cheers. But the second booty. I just love this song, so I just thought I'd put the GoPro on. <laughs> it's currently connected to the harness. Um, oh my God, I'm gonna look mega bad. I don't even want it on me. I don't want this on me. I'm gonna roll these sleeves up. <laughs> it's freaking boiling. But yeah, I thought I'd uh, stick it on because I like this song. <laughs> if I had another chance to run.
There may be some in there, I, I don't know to be honest. How much is your game, please? Um, two pounds, three for a pound, there are some more okay. here. You're welcome. Oh, Mainly yeah. little girls' games. Okay. That's um, 40 pounds because it is billet aluminium. Yeah, it was no. for my hot rod. Can I? Uh, it was no. a hot rod that was on Wheeler Dealers actually. Can I right, yeah. Can I gear that for this game, mate? Two quid, cheers. Thank you. I'll put it in the back for you. That's uh, 25. How much is this place? Uh, a couple of quid. Oh, thank you. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Thank you very much. You know, there you go. Thank you. Cheers. How much are they, please? Okay. Do you know if they're tiny, the little blocks are? Yeah. Do you know if they're complete? Uh, Pikachu is. That one in. I might maybe take that one. How much was that dance mat? Uh, 50p, there's two of them. Oh, whereabouts is the other one? Just at that side, at the same time. Oh, right, yeah. Oh. Yeah, if you don't mind, thank you. Oh. Do you want a bed? No, yeah, I might do, yeah. Oh, um, just this one, I think, yeah. This one, yeah? Okay. It's never been used. You buying, like, loads or something and they never use them. Oh, and you didn't use them? No. <laughs> we had four originally. All right. Yeah, that's 50. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. What is going on guys and welcome to the latest Kabu video game hunting and pickups video back in the gaming cave after viewing some awesome bank holiday car boot footage so it was a smashing weekend i managed to go to four car boots because i had the usual two booties on the sunday and two booties on the bank holiday monday so that was wicked so we made some mega pickups uh, on this weekend so obviously in the last pickups video you'll have already seen the sunday one so this is um these are the pickups from the monday bank holiday car boots so the earlier one cracking games bundling this one guys we actually found some nintendo switch games at the booty have any of you guys ever seen any nintendo switch games yet absolutely wicked so i can't wait to show you them very soon first game i got was i think it was cars on the ds and i think i got it for like might have been um maybe a quid or two quid i can't remember um oh, i can't remember off the top of it i've made that many pickups I actually can't remember um but it does return four quid cx trade so it's not bad it's not a bad little one cars on the ds for a bit of cx trade Looking where to put it. <laughs> um, I also got Mario Kart Wii, but there's no game inside. It is just the um, case only and the. Uh, oh, let's sort this out. OCD, OCD. Hang on. Let's have that. I'll have precautions at the back because they're boring. We'll have this just behind this. There we go with that showing. Because yeah, I picked this up. It was just um, I think they wanted a quid for the games, but I said we well, do it for fifty p because it's not got the game in it. But I said I, I won't mind the case. So yeah, this, they said yeah, that's fine and all that. So yeah, pick that up because you never know when you'll find a loose Mario Kart Wii disc because they do come up. They do generally come up. So I would recommend guys if you can just pick up the cases. You know, try and get them for like fifty p or something because they do come in handy. 
Um, also got, I've already got this, but I picked it up for CX Trade or to see if any of my mates wanted it. They can obviously have this for free because I've already got it. Just paid a quid. It's a Sonic Mega Collection Plus. Just picked it up um, just to help out some fellow collectors. If anyone doesn't have it, obviously I'll bring it to uh, an event or something. It just saves them obviously having to like... Um, pay more for it at cx basically um i do think i think cx give like two or three quid trade um i picked this up last year at a car boot for a quid and added it to my collection so yeah it was just too nice to leave behind so i do pick up things sometimes for fellow collectors if they don't already have them i picked this up for a quid they're always worth picking up um xbox 360 wireless network adapter i don't know which one it is and i don't know how i even find out to be honest with you but you i can get anywhere between um like Anywhere between two and six pound for this in-store credit. So let's hope it's the higher value one. Um, yeah, I don't know because they've all got letters next to them. But I don't know how to um, check this one. So I might have to do a quick Google search or ask uh, one of the fellow collectors. Because, uh, yeah, I don't trust them, to be honest with pricing. <laughs> After the rant in the last video, guys. Jeez, what a nightmare that was. While well, I'm enjoying my monster, this was a pickup from the Bank Holiday Monday car boot. Absolutely buzzing with this, guys. I got this for a quid. Oh, look at a buying clothing off a car boot. <laughs> Especially if there's, like, new people tuned into this. Oh, there's a YouTuber who buys clothes at the car boot. <laughs> to be fair, it smelt, like, pretty new anyway. It kind of smelt, like, brand new. I was, like, smelling it like the creeper out the Jeepers Creepers movie. <laughs> when he smells Derry's clothes in the first Jeepers Creepers movie. Um, but, yeah, really nice anyway. Let me show you it. There we go. <laughs> proper nice top it's bubble bobble in case you didn't already notice you should know who that is you should know what that is but yeah it fits absolutely perfect so buzzing with that if anyone don't like it because i've made a clothing car boot pickup sucks to be you because i don't care <laughs> yeah what else we got um sealed blu-ray set this is planet earth the collection i genuinely enjoy watching this on telly i don't mind uh watching a bit about all the uh the animals with david attenborough it's brilliant so yeah it's all really nice and sealed with the bloody security protected seal over it um i'm sure i got this i don't know if i got this for about two or three quid something like that you'll see it have seen in the footage but um yeah it returns a five a cx trade so i didn't think that was too bad i thought i'd grab it woman had some wii and xbox 360 games so these are really nice pick up quid each these are so this one is for the collection it is night's journey of dreams Still got an OG Game Station sticker on there. I miss Game Station dearly. Genuinely do. It was wicked, my old Game Station. Loved it. So, yeah, I thought that'd be decent. Um, I already own Christmas Nights into Dreams back on the Sega Saturn. So, yeah, they're meant to be, like, decent games. So, interesting to see how this uh, Wii game of it might be. I don't know if it's any good or anything, but thought i'd grab it anyway so it will be going to the collection it's not worth anything at cex anyway to be fair i did double check it the only return about one pound 60 or something um got this left for dead it is the game of the year edition i do already own this game but um yeah includes survival pack content i don't know if it's actually on the disc or if it came as a code and been redeemed or anything i'm not sure but it's really nice and complete with manual um it would return some decent cex um trade credit i can't decide whether it's got a ever so slight bit of ring damage on it possibly i'm not sure but to be fair it looks like it'll work it doesn't look that's making it look really bad but it to my eyes it doesn't look as bad as how it looks on there to be fair but yeah it's for the collection anyway because i don't have the game of the year edition so i thought i'd just grab it because it's just a quid just looks really cool i absolutely love the left for dead games it's quite a shiny case as well you can kind of see it. Don't quite do it justice, but you can see it's a bit a bit shiny. Already got this game. I previously bought this in the past from CEX. It is Beautiful Katamari. And I believe uh, CEX sell it for, I don't know if it's about six or eight quid. I'm sure you get about three or four quid trade for this. Um, but again, too nice to leave behind for a quid. I've already got it myself. But yeah, I'm starting to pick up some nice things just for any fellow collectors um, who I talk to on a regular basis just to see if they need it because obviously i'll just give it to them because some things are just they're just too nice to leave behind and obviously if they already have it um i could actually just sell it at a show instead rather than uh, give it cx onto this gorgeous bundle i usually don't get anything like this i usually miss out on stuff like this genuinely do so i was really really happy with this so yeah first things i saw 
couple of Nintendo Switch games. Pokémon Tournament DX and Lego Worlds. They're all really nice. Really nice with the uh, cartridges in. And yeah, don't know if that's been redeemed or not because it's like a bonus DLC pack. Might have been, I'm not sure. But um, yeah, debating whether to um, trade this to CX or not, I'm not too sure because um, you can get like, I think it's about 12 quid or something like that. 12, 14. I've just checked this up on the CX website. It is indeed 16 pounds, so not bad. It's very tempting, very enticing um, trade credit. Um, but yeah, I was <laughs> tempted to keep it and then uh, maybe create like Resident Evil levels or something. But I don't know, I might take... Um, advantage of the credit to be fair because i'll tell you what the um as of now what the credit should be if i trade all this in except for pokemon tournament dx because i've been after that for my collection and um cx sell this for 35 quid currently so um awesome find this so tell you all the pricing and all that lot in a minute other one was cars i'd already picked a copy up but obviously i knew there was money in it so um four quid that is um mario kart 7 for the 3DS. They wanted a fiver on that. And then they also wanted a fiver on Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer. So again, quite tempting to keep, but I don't know, I might be uh <laughs> that trade credit's enticing, I tell you. And I genuinely do not know how this ended up. I haven't even I've looked through the footage, but I don't even know how this ended up in there. Um but it's mini ninjas on the Wii. I really genuinely didn't scam anyone or anything. I don't know how it got in there, but yeah, it wasn't meant to be in the bundle, but it kind of got in there. It's not worth anything, to be fair. It's worth about, I'm sure CX gives something like, I don't know if it's even £1.40. I think it's like 40p or something, so I might as well keep that. Um, but yeah, let me get some uh, trade credit prices for you. Yeah, it is in fact 60p for the Mini Ninjas game. I'd rather just keep it, to be fair. So I've got some prices up. So... Yeah, got this bundle for 30 quid because they originally wanted uh, 15 for Pokémon Tournament DX, uh, a tenner for Lego World, so that's 25 there. Um, I think they wanted just 2 quid on the DS game, uh, and then they wanted a fiver each on these. Um, and then, I don't even know about that, I didn't even inquire, and I, don't, I genuinely don't know how it even ended up in this, but anyway... Um, like I said, I'm going to keep this anyway, because I'd rather just keep it for the collection than give it to CX for 60p, to be honest. So, yeah, I just grabbed what I wanted, and I said, will you take 30 quid? So, and they said, yeah. So, that was really cool, really nice deal. Because if I total it up, it should have been uh, 25, 35. Should have been, like, 37 quid. So, really nice for 30 quid, to be honest. I thought you'd get a bit more for this. It's actually £6. I'm sure it was a bit more before. But, yeah, £6 for Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer. £13 for Mario Kart 7, which is wicked. Four quid for Cars. And £16 quid for Lego World. So, it says on here, that totals a £39 voucher. So, for £30 spent, I've got a £39 voucher. And I've got Pokémon Tournament DX in my collection. That is how you do it, guys. Absolute wicked, that is. And, obviously, I've got Mini Ninjas on the Wii. Like I said, don't know how it ended up in there, but um, I know that they did give me a carrier bag. I don't know if they might have accidentally put it in there with my games, because I know that they did give me a carrier bag. Um, yeah, <laughs> if you ever see me without a carrier bag, guys, it just means I forgot. I've, I've, I do see all your comments, and I know it is funny. You know, people saying, bloody get a bag, will you? I know. I do usually have them ready, but sometimes I just get too excited, stick the GoPro on, I'm out the car and that's that. And I've either left the bags in my car or at home, it's usually at home really. <laughs> yeah, there was a little bit of confusion on this, but because you've watched the footage in order, you will see, um, it's a bit weird because Dan came up, because I'd already um, picked up like the bits that I wanted. And then Dan was like, he kind of said, do you mind if I have a look kind of thing? And I was like, no, no, because I thought, you know, I'm done, I've got my bits, what I wanted, and I'm just in the middle of sorting a deal, whatever. And, uh, yeah, you see my wallet on a couple of the games, and I, I believe it was um, it was the Sonic and the um, the cars. I, th I think I had them, like, on on the table like that, and my wallet was resting on them. And so just before we looked, I, um, like, brought them over. And, um, yeah, he, he wasn't sure if I'd, like, added them 
to my pile of stuff and um, there was a little bit of confusion uh, but obviously I didn't because you would have seen it obviously in the footage um, that I picked these up previously so just in case any of you guys thought I'm not like scamming anyone adding anything into the pile or whatever and um, they were genuinely obviously my games underneath my wallet and uh, yeah like I said I had to put them down underneath my wallet because I didn't have a bag so dopamine forgot <laughs> so yeah might look a bit confusing on the footage but I didn't add in any extra games didn't smuggle anything in I'd already bought them at previous stalls. And then the last couple of bits I got, I got a Xbox 360 Afterglow controller. I can't find this on the CEX um, website at all, but yeah, it does say Afterglow for Xbox 360. So it is all fairly legit. I've not tested it yet, so fingers crossed. Where am I? Where am I? It worked! Oh, sh They wanted three quid for it. I said, will you take two quid? Cheeky offer there. They said yeah, so really nice two quid to be fair so probably might end up keeping that i do think i think they go for maybe a tenner or something online on ebay something like that but yeah i might be tempted to keep it to be fair this is a wicked pickup um in all honesty i can't remember if i actually got this at the sunday ones i don't know if this should have actually been in the last um, pickups video um but yeah i picked this up anyway because I'm, re I'm remembering to show it now i might have actually forgot to show it in the last one <laughs> um i'm sure it might have been at the sunday car boots but it is for the playstation 2 it's almost as big as me a box guitar hero 2 set it's absolutely wicked i do already own guitar hero 2 the game and the guitar um the one that my mum bought me years ago uh, it's absolutely awesome um but yeah i don't have my original box so it'll be so nice to put mine in the original box to be fair so good to have a box for my uh original guitar hero that i've had for years so everything's there apart from the game um it's nice to have like the baggies as well uh, the straps there as well um, obviously you can see they've used the stickers on the guitar and whatever so uh, yeah I'll probably um, pass this on I reckon I'll uh, pass it on to another collector or I, might, uh, or I might sell it on at an event Doncaster or something but certainly keeping the box and the baggy and then I can obviously put my OG guitar in there so really nice to have a box for my OG Guitar Hero 2 so on to the afternoon bank holiday car boot didn't do as well as the first one but obviously not going to top that, not going to top that um, Switch Games bundle, you know, nice 3DS bundle and all that, not going to top that, um, but yeah, awesome find, I don't usually get finds like that and bundles like that, so it was absolutely wicked, proper happy with that, so yeah, this car boot, I got Peppa Pig the game for two quid, um, always worth picking up guys, I'm sure, can't remember if it's five or six quid this one, hang on, these are all... We sort it out, OCD, there we go. <laughs> Put them the right way around. Let me do a quick CEX check, because I get confused. Oh, it's actually gone down, guys. That means there must have been quite a lot of copies traded in. People have jumped on the Peppa Pig hype. <laughs> they've uh, they've jumped on the the old Bacon Sarnie hype. <laughs> but yeah, um, for both of them, the Peppa Pig the game, this one, and also the... Let me have a look. Let me try... Oh, it's hard to show you guys. It's the Peppa Pig Fun and Games one, that one. Um, you get four quid trade for both of them. That's actually gone down because I think this used to be five or six. It was it was one of them ways round. This was either five or six quid and then the other one was either five or six. It was one of them. So, yeah, it's gone down by a quid actually. But, oh, well, not the end of the world anyway. Still not bad trade. Got it for two quid anyway. Uh, this is really cool. I got this. Um, it's like a bit of a rip-off Lego-y thing really like tiny pieces it's a charizard as you can uh, tell if you're a pokemon fan it's a nice buildable little charizard they just wanted a quid for this so uh I'll just open it up and show you guys it's all uh really nice and sealed so you got the manual there and you can see obviously how tiny the pieces are some really tiny pieces in there so obviously it's quite uh detailed and like pixely looking um i will admit they did have a pikachu one of this but um, it wasn't all sealed like this and I'm just not keen on I mean, I mean I know it was only like a quid or whatever But I'm just not keen on picking it up if it's not sealed Because you just don't know if it's complete And it bugs me if I have things that aren't complete So yeah because it was nice and sealed I thought I'd pick it up This is really random But um, for 50p I couldn't leave it behind uh, So it's for the PS2 and it also works on the OG Xbox It says Xbox compatible there It is the Dance UK set <laughs> <laughs> the dance mat and the game so i thought i just had to i just couldn't leave it behind for 50p it was just too nice so yeah it'll just be nice as a, a display piece uh, to be honest and it's all like 
it's all literally brand new with baggies and everything the woman even said it's never been used so just because it was just really nice with baggies i thought i'd grab it just for display and all that i did used to have a dance mat as a kid i absolutely loved it god i'm awful on them now guys i have not got the moves i used to have at all but um yeah i used to have uh i can't remember what it i can't remember what it looked like it was like silver kind of dance mat and uh i had dancing stage euro mix i think that was a wicked one though actually it had stuff like video killed the radio star and i used to i used to smash it i did back in the day but can't do it now <laughs> can't do them as well as i used to um this is a really cool pickup this one i've not seen one of these before Um it all looks really nice to be fair i don't know if it has been used it looks really nice but just wanted two quid it is a handheld guitar hero how nice is that it really works <laughs> just to let you know it actually works um 10 jaw dropping track segments so yeah it's not an actual um doesn't actually have 10 full songs in there but track segments so that's all right i'll let you off because it's uh you know it's like portable and it's a little handheld one song selection based on the best from guitar heroes one and two i don't know what songs are on here because it doesn't say anything so don't really know anything about it but yeah not a chance to play it yet i don't know if you need batteries or whatever so uh, yeah i just thought that was really nice for two quid just a uh, proper bonus because it's uh, in the box i've just i've just seen them actually they're on here so there is smoke on the water you've got another thing coming misaloo misaloo heart shaped box message in a bottle cherry pie she's my cherry pie <laughs> jessica killer queen surrender and rock this town not a bad little selection that yeah i think that's a wicked little handheld that if you're a fan of the uh the old guitar hero games your music and rhythm games so the last few guys this is from the uh the usual um because there's like a usual like game store and then there's like a usual like game and like dvd cd kind of stall and all that and it's from them because uh i've bought from them a few times now and uh yeah he said to me um what did i find i found this one first it was ninja blade and um yeah i was even more tempted to get it because it says only on xbox 360 so it's nice to pick up a, a 360 exclusive all really nice the case only needs swapping so i'll swap that with a a cx fodder um title because obviously you can just see the couple of chips on the uh cases there so it's obviously called ninja blade um so i take it you play as like a ninja um tokyo under siege a modern day ninja for a 21st century enemy a parasite has mysteriously appeared, unleashing a wave of destruction, mutating humans into vicious, savage creatures. The disease has reached the shores of Japan and into the heart of Tokyo. As modern-day ninja Ken Ogawa swing, fly and slice your way into extreme action to save humankind from obliteration. That looks pretty decent, actually. Well, it sounds pretty decent anyway. So, yeah, looking forward to jumping into that. It's got to be easier than Sekiro. Sekiro, whatever. <laughs> got to be easier than that, jeez. Um yeah and the guy also brought these games out they weren't originally out he said i know you like your uh your other like top titles and whatever he said the rarer stuff and whatever so he brought out marvel vs capcom 3 and donkey kong country returns i've already got these games so um i will cx them um this one i'm a bit surprised i thought you'd get a bit more but at the minute you only get three quid trade credit so to be fair I don't know, I might see if one of the fellow collectors wants it, to be honest, because, you know, I think it's a bit... don't really want to let it go for, like, three quid at CX. It's a bit a bit of a shame, to be fair. Yeah, if I have to, I will, but I really thought there was more money in that, to be honest. And Donkey Kong Country Returns, all nice and complete with manual. For Donkey Kong Country Returns, um, that gets a five of CX trade credits. So that's not too bad at all, to be fair. Um, so yeah, he wanted uh, two quid um, each game, and he did me these three for a fiver, so that's decent. So obviously, fiver trade on that, possibly pass that to another game collector who I know. And uh, yeah, Ninja Blade for my collection, so not too bad there. So a little bit of Pokemon stuff to finish off with, guys. So this is an eBay pickup. It is brand new and sealed. It is Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, the one with the Pokeball, that edition. Um, I've really wanted that. At first I thought it was all mucky, the bottom I thought it was all dirty and stuff, but it's actually, it's all obviously meant to be like that. It's like all fossils and stuff. Looks like Omanyte and all that lot on the bottom. That one does look like it. Um, but anyway, I've already got the um, the Pokemon Switch console. Um, I've got the um, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu one, you know, all nice and boxed, 
with the console with the um, Pikachu one installed. So I've obviously wanted the Eevee one with the Pokeball, you know, just like to go next to the console. And obviously so I can have that version to um, trade the Pokemon between it. So I got this for 65 and that's genuinely not too bad because it's brand new and sealed. Because um, I remember just after Christmas, and I think even just before Christmas, because I got mine uh, on Boxing Day. I treated myself on Boxing Day my uh, Pokemon Switch console. It was actually shooting way up in value. Uh, there's so many eBay listings now, like buy it now is like 90 to 100 quid, 110, 130, all that. It's like, why? You know what I mean? It's like, and I think it is like genuinely like discontinued. You can't get it like from Smith's, Amazon, anywhere really. So uh, yeah, this was uh, just from like a person, not a shop who had it as a duplicate gift. So really nice to pick this up because it, it was like 75 quid when it first came out. So it's nice to even pick it up for less than what it originally retailed at so yeah i'm really glad i haven't got scalped so i thought while it's 65 while i've seen a cheap listing like that i'm gonna grab it so i grabbed that by it now uh these ones as you'll know i think it, i believe it's on the 10th of may i think it should say on here oh no it doesn't say it but anyway um detective pikachu comes out in the cinema i believe it's on the 10th of may so yeah burger king have done promotional toys with the kids meals so yeah i've actually got all six now which is wicked so i'm keeping these sealed um just cause because i did with all the last pokemon toys the ones that came out at Mackey's. so there's a nice bulbasaur there and then there's pikachu i believe his um cheeks light up as well if you switch it on or something oh this one's wicked it's my favorite mewtwo i was absolutely amazed by mewtwo as a kid i adored it on the first movie so mysterious man um this is the last one I picked up. That's the last one I needed, Psyduck. And I actually got it yesterday, right? I went in there and, uh, like, I've been buying them separate um, all the time. Even when the, the Pokemon toys came out of Mackey's. Bought them separately all the time. And then uh, I went to buy this. And then uh, the like the member of staff was like, oh, no, can't buy them anymore. And I'm like, what? <laughs> and they're like, no, not anymore. And you've got to buy a kid's meal with it. So I had to buy a frigging kid's meal to just to get the last toy. Damn it. That's how dedicated I am. I've not had a Burger King in years because it sucks. It sucks. It's no way near as good as Mackey's and KFC. Mackey's and KFC all day, every day over Burger King. Try to change my mind. <laughs> Any Burger King fans here? Um, yeah. And there is Growlithe. And the last one, I'll be honest, I genuinely can't remember the name of it, in all honesty. It's got some stickers on the back of it as well. You know what? I'm just going to own up and say I can't remember the name because it's one of the newer ones. I'm more of an OG retro Pokemon uh, fan and all that lot. But yeah, I've got all six uh, toys. I was so careful bringing my meal home in this so I didn't get it like all greasy because I'm trying to keep it just as nice as possible to keep the toys in. So uh, yeah, I'm a sucker for the, uh, the fast food toys that they bring out. So at least I managed to catch them all. Hey. Anyway guys, thank you so much for joining me on yet another gaming adventure. As you know, I appreciate you guys watching my videos so much and thank you very much to new subscribers who have come along as well and all you OG viewers as well. Appreciate you all and I'm really feeling the love so thanks so much guys. So feel free to drop any comments in the section down below if you fancy a chat. Let me know what pickups you've made or what you've enjoyed in this video. Always a pleasure to chat to you guys, so you stay classy and go smash them car boots. Happy car booting and video game content. I'll see you in a bit, guys.